Hey everyone, after a lot of work, I've finally got a live build playable of The Rest of Us. First up, I've added the ability to strangle NPCs, and along with that, their ragdoll is no longer a blank dummy. If you manage to grapple an NPC during combat, then pressing square will instead knock them out with your gun. Or if you have ammo, pressing fire will shoot them straight in the head. Another important addition is aim assist. Right here I'm not pressing the right stick at all and the aiming reticle follows the enemy loosely. Melee combat has been significantly improved. You can now punch people from a distance and you don't have to be facing them in order to engage in melee. And in addition to that, if you kill an NPC that is holding a weapon that you don't have, they will drop it for you. I've added a bunch of melee weapons and changed up the controls a bit. Using R2 will always use your melee weapon, whereas pressing square will punch. So you can choose whether to punch or use your melee weapon since your melee weapon has hit points. Cover logic has been greatly improved. As you can see with this debug function, the green dots represent where an enemy can take cover and where there's not a dot, it's not safe. I added an oil filter that you can use as a suppressor by toggling it with X and it works about as you'd expect. Camping in one spot for too long will make NPCs throw pipe bombs at you. But you can also craft your own and use those. Also to make it more of an uncharted hybrid, if you sprint and press crouch, your character will slide. I find this is a good system instead of a roll, it's more grounded in what someone would normally do. And not to mention pushable dumpsters that work as you'd expect them to basically. So yeah, you can play around with all these features and if you use them in tandem you can do cool stuff and I uh, hope you play it. It's, it's live now so check it out on Dreams on PS4.